I thought we would pray today using um, the gospel passage, which I'm not preaching on this Sunday, which is from John 14. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may also be. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. The line that struck with me in this passage is, do not let your hearts be troubled. So I want to use that as our reflective phrase for this night. Some of these words are from Joanna Harder. Let us pray. I invite you to take a deep breath in and release it. To breathe in and release it. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Hear that prayer in your heart. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Oh God, we pray, do not let our hearts be troubled. We pray for your healing love. We ask you to be present with those who suffer in body and mind or spirit. Do not let their hearts be troubled. We ask you to pray for that your healing love be with those who are infected with COVID-19. For those with suffering from other physical ailments. For those struggling with depression, anxiety, and other troubles of the spirit now. We lift those people who are in need of your healing love up to you now. Do not let your hearts be troubled. We pray your strength and protection and encouragement be the, with those working with the public right now. Medical staff, food service workers, those serving at food banks and soup kitchens and shelters, postal and delivery people. We pray for those people helping our community through their work. Do not let your hearts be troubled. We lift their names to you now. We pray, do not let your hearts be troubled. We pray for your comfort for those who are grieving, for those who are mourning the death of a loved one, for those who have lost jobs, for those who've had to cancel anticipated plans, for students who have lost their concerts and plays and graduation ceremonies, for grandparents who've lost the ability to be physically present with their grandchildren. Do not let your hearts be troubled. We offer these names to you in prayer. Do not let your hearts be troubled. We pray for those who are having to travel. We ask your traveling mercies upon them. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God and believe in me. Hear these words of Jesus and let them comfort you, for he has prepared a place for you. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Amen.